Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some overheating comparisons against some of today's top action cameras. We're gonna be comparing the DJI Action 2, the new Insta360 ONE RS, and the GoPro Hero 10 Black. These small action cameras are notorious for overheating, especially when recording at high frame rates, and it seems to be a problem across the board. Now, depending on how you use your camera, where you're using it, if you're filming indoors, outdoors, if there's gonna be a lot of air movement around the camera, the results are gonna be dramatically different. Now, for this comparison, I'm just gonna be filming at a desk here, now these cameras can overheat a little bit quicker in a scenario like this, just because there's no air movement. They tend not to overheat as quickly when you're outdoors using them and there's some air movement around them. But for this test, it'll give us a good baseline of which camera will overheat first. A couple of things to note here before we get into the results. You can see here I have every camera on a tripod, just getting it up off the desk just to allow more air circulation around it. To keep the comparisons fair, I'm gonna be filming all at the same resolution and frame rate. We're gonna start at 4K60 and then we're gonna do another comparison at 4K30. Another thing to note is the stabilization is gonna be enabled for every camera because when you enable electronic image stabilization, the processor has to work a lot harder and it will cause the camera to overheat a lot quicker. We're gonna have HyperSmooth on the Hero 10 Black, Rocksteady on the Action 2, and we're gonna be using the Flow State Stabilization on the Insta360 ONE RS. There is an option on it to have the stabilization done in post, but we're gonna make sure the stabilization is set to in-camera, and that way it has the same type of intense chip usage. So with all that said, let's go ahead and we will run our first test. So I've gone ahead and made some notes here of all the results, so I'm just gonna kinda go over them here now with you. The first test we did was 4K60, and I ended up doing two different tests, just wanted to be thorough. So the results of the first test were actually kind of interesting. The DJI Action 2 overheated first at 25 minutes and 49 seconds. No surprise there that it overheated first. And I thought the Insta360 would last longer than the GoPro, but it actually overheated before the GoPro at 27 minutes and 26 seconds. And then the GoPro recorded for 33 minutes and 10 seconds. So we got approximately an extra five minutes out of the GoPro. On the second test, the DJI Action 2 actually recorded for about two minutes longer. It recorded for 27 minutes and 25 seconds before it overheated. The Insta360 ONE RS overheated next at 27 minutes and 55 seconds. And the GoPro actually recorded 10 seconds less. It shut off at 32 minutes and 59 seconds. Only a 10 second difference there. So for the next test, we did 4K30. So our frame rate is not as high, so it's not gonna generate as much heat. Stabilization was left enabled on all cameras. The DJI Action 2 overheated at 47 minutes and 45 seconds. The Hero 10 Black was able to record for 1 hour, 7 minutes, and 35 seconds before it overheated. And the Insta360 ONE RS did not overheat at all. It actually ran for a minute 22, and then it shut down due to the battery being dead. So at 4K30, you can definitely record a lot longer on the Insta360 ONE RS. Now the other interesting thing to note about this camera if overheating is an issue for you and you need a camera that can record a lot longer, especially in hot environments, you definitely may want to consider the ONE RS just for the simple fact that you can do your stabilization in post later on. Flow state stabilization can be applied in the smartphone app or on your desktop. And for the most part, it actually does a better job at stabilization. The nice thing about going that route is that you're not going to generate as much heat in the camera. So basically you'll be able to record indefinitely without the camera overheating. So yeah, folks, that's basically it for this video. Just a quick video going over which camera overheats first at 4K30 and 4K60. Just to wrap up here, the Hero 10 Black was able to record longer at 4K60, but the Insta360 ONE RS can record longer at 4K30 with or without stabilization enabled. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.